The topic was, is creation a viable model of origins in today's modern scientific era? Ken Ham won the coin toss and went first. He quickly gave an example of a creationist who contributed greatly to medical technology. His friend, Dr. Raymond Damadian, inventor of the MRI. You had to feel a little sorry for Bill Nye. It was his turn to promote the opposite viewpoint. Nye seemingly ignored the example of Dr. Damadian. What keeps the United States ahead, what makes the United States a world leader, is our technology, our new ideas, our innovations. If we continue to eschew science, eschew the process and try to divide uh, science into a observational science and historic science, we are not going to move forward. We will not embrace natural laws. We will not make discoveries. We will not uh, invent and innovate and stay ahead. Ken Ham returned with a video clip of the MRI inventor. I want you to meet a biblical creationist who is a scientist and inventor. Hi, my name is Dr. Raymond Damadian. I am a young earth creation scientist and believe that God created the world in six 24-hour days, just as recorded in the book of Genesis. By God's grace and the devoted prayers of my godly mother-in-law, I invented the MRI scanner in 1969. Here's one of Ham's major points. He patiently explained that both creationists and evolutionists can agree with experimental science, which is observing the present. He said the disagreement is over the past, which we cannot see directly. The science guy did not appreciate that distinction. Strangely enough, Nye's mannerisms resembled those of an evangelistic preacher. Rest assured, his message was just the opposite. And I'm afraid Nye may have offended his Kentucky audience when he pushed his brand of science as the only hope for the state. Kentucky voters. Voters who might be watching online in places like Texas, Tennessee, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, please, you don't want to raise a generation of science students who don't understand how we know our place in the cosmos, our place in space, who don't understand natural law. We need to innovate to keep the United States where it is in the world. Ken Ham had a good comeback toward the end of the debate. Creationists can be great scientists, but see, I say God is necessary because you have to assume the laws of logic. You have to assume the laws of nature. You have to assume uh, the, the, the uniformity of nature. And that was a question I had for you. Where does that come from if the universe is here by natural processes? You may be wondering if there's anything upon which Bill Nye and Ken Ham can agree. After listening to the debate, I think I can safely say they both oppose the idea that God works through evolution. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.